and welcome back to Alina's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making a pumpkin spice latte smoothie. Since we're technically in fall now, how can I not have pumpkin spice already? So let's get started. As I have half a banana, which I just froze overnight, but it's beginning to thaw because it's pretty hot out here. The next thing I'm gonna add in is if you like coffee, then it's a good day for you because I have half a cup of just black coffee, which I'm gonna add in. And then for my pumpkin, I have half a cup of pumpkin puree. You're not gonna wanna get pumpkin pie filling. They have that a lot in the store. Look for the pumpkin puree. Next thing I'm gonna add in is a fourth cup of coconut milk or any milk of your choice. But I like coconut milk because it adds that creaminess, I find. And then I also have maple syrup. I'm gonna put in about one and a half. You can go anywhere from one to two tablespoons depending on how sweet you want your smoothie to be. And now, spices. So for my spices, I have half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which I'm just gonna add in. And then I have a fourth teaspoon of ginger. And then I have a little mishmash of just a pinch of nutmeg, allspice, and also cloves. So there's a lot of spices in here today. And that's it. All we have to do now is blend it together. Okay, so if you like your smoothies really nice and thick, then this is perfect for you. But I personally prefer mine to be a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of my coconut milk. So I have a third cup more that I'm going to add in as well as I'm gonna add some ice because my banana de-thawed a bit more than I thought. So I think some ice would help this out. So I have a 3 fourths cup of ice that I'm just gonna add and give it a final blend. And today I also have some homemade whipped cream that I just whipped up that will be in the link down below it's super simple just heavy whipping cream vanilla extract and a little bit of sugar and it's delicious and now here we have our beautiful finished pumpkin spice latte smoothie and the best part getting to try it mm. and if it looks like it's snowing today it's not we're in Southern California but it is fall time, so my trees are starting to shed. So I'm having some leaves fall down around us. And where I got this recipe today was one of my favorite blogs, amandascooking.com. She has some beautiful, tasty recipes, especially for the fall coming up. And today I was trying out her pumpkin spice latte smoothie. And it's delicious. I hope you guys try it and enjoy it as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. And please share with your friends. 